My community has a saying, it gets better. We hold on to the light at nights when the closet gets too dark, but sometimes the hell you live in is your own skin and you don't even have a closet to hide in the night of pulse. My parents didn't know to check on me. Not because we sat in the same living room watching the same news report, but because I'm not out to them yet. Because I was a good gay. One who could liquefy every piece of themselves and be washed down the drain. One who could be mopped up after the gunfire and treated as if they were never there. They didn't know. I'd lie my head 20 minutes away from a grave that could as well have been my own. Have you ever held back tears because you didn't know if they were valid? My community can tell you how breathing and suffocating often feels the same. Sometimes you don't get the privilege of reacting can't afford to fall apart because it just might cost you your life. I think of the victims of the post shooting and if their eulogies also acted as their coming out stories, wondering how the skin someone else was born in can translate to someone as a target you think that by now we'd be used to hiding. Gotten accustomed to locking the closet door, you think we'd never stop looking over our shoulders because good gays know their place, because our love is just a doormat for people who don't believe our reality exists. It's opening up your ribcage so the majority has more room. People don't see you until they trip over your corpse searching for a jacket to wear. When you're gay, loving yourself becomes a political statement an act of defiance. It's clawing fear out of your muscle memory and using the extra air to breathe air you were told you don't deserve. It's telling yourself it gets better until dissociation drips into your DNA. But what else can we do when all bravery gets you is blood on the dance floor and, leave, and fear leaves you a skeleton in the closet? I guess it's better to die at your own hand. Being gay is finding relief at a death at your own hand. I can't tell you how long it took my friends to convince me to ever go downtown. And still, I look over my shoulder. Still, I hold on to my breath as if it were my very last, knowing each time it might be, and wondering if it were. Would the ones I love know where to find my body? And would they be willing to claim it?